Hey Deverin, how's it going? Oh, it's alright. Long time no see, huh? Oh, long time I haven't seen you. Yeah. Must have been what, since the beginning of the pandemic? I guess so, so practically now now it's one and a half year. One and a half years one since, and a half since yeah, yeah, since it's been since, a yeah, pandemic, this first wave started. And how have you been maintaining your training? Because the gyms were closed for a good... Uh... Yeah, first time it was three months, second uh, lockdown was for nine months. So, uh, first lockdown, I did with, with minimum equipment at home, which I had at home. So for the second one, because it was expected somehow, and yeah. let's say announced on time, so I prepared better. So. I made mini or micro gym at home. Okay. Yeah, with, with some basic equipment, so so I could do, let's say, bench presses and so on. But it's still far from from real gym. So what, you got a bench press and yeah. uh, an Olympic bar or one of these yes, uh... Olympic Olympic bar and uh, some weights also. Uh, so this bench also for progressive training some chains and you, you managed to maintain because it doesn't look like you've lost too much mass no no i i, I could maintain it's, it's not a problem especially for the person who is natural right because uh it's hard work behind his body so of course i lost something but it was i would say minimum because I was, I was training pretty regularly, of course, it's still far from the training in the gym because it was, I was unable to do all kind of pullovers, cables, uh -huh, true. and this, which, which are part of, of, of each training. Okay. So it's, it's not just pulling and pushing. So, so you have different kind of exercises which you can perform. Okay, but now that the, the gyms are open, I guess uh, you're pretty happy that you can get back to your old school routines Ab as opposed to... Absolutely, it's practically I'm here on daily basis and I really enjoy this. I, I'm using this opportunity and I'm trying to, to again, to be the old one. Right, so I mean, it, it looks like it because um, I've never seen this before. What is this? This is new. Yeah, yeah. this is, let's say, my personal device, uh, which I had also at home, uh, so I bought this during this Corona time right. uh, to improve uh, work for the shoulders. So it means it's it's uh, multi grip, and you perform so-called Viking presses. Okay. So you can you can use different widths, wide one, uh, narrow one. Oh, right, yeah. So you see, so yeah. you can have at least three different grips for each weight. So I'm combining this. Uh, Do you change the grip when you perform the exercises? Yeah, I'm, I'm changing. I'm changing the grip. So uh, each part of the shoulders, and not only of the, sho of the shoulders, but also complete core is working mm -hmm. with this exercise because I'm trying, especially with, with lower weight not to cheat okay so i don't use like squat or half squat uh so i'm using my abs uh -huh. so i start when i go from ground zero when this is the heaviest mm -hmm. to start then i'm using then i'm uh making like one one shot i make with, with my abs so it's helping me okay to, to lift for this start right so your abs are literally helping you Absolutely. generate more force absolutely for each exercise i'm using because i'm trying to isolate the group or if it's two groups of muscles i'm trying to isolate them so to make them on real resistance uh -huh. so they, they have enough repetitions mm -hmm. but also enough time under pressure mm -hmm. to develop to okay. grow all right so yeah. perfect form, using your core correctly, and perfect control. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's very important. That's very important. Yes. Perfect. Okay, well, let's have a look and see how this goes with yeah. the... What, how many kilos is this? Uh, this is 
so together it's uh, uh, 20 bars, 40, 60, 80, 100. So with this, close to 110 kilograms. Okay, it's pretty impressive. Let's see. Uh, let's see what this pandemic body has turned into. If you still got the strength. Yes, uh, this pandemic 70 years old body. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yeah. I keep forgetting that you're 70, Darren. Like yep. uh, that's crazy. You don't look it. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so I'll start with, with the white one, that white rib. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the start, just a little help. That's pretty impressive, Davron. Well, how, how many reps was that? Oh, it was six reps. Six reps, so 110 still, kilos. Yeah. Damn. So it's uh, still somehow on the border between a hypertrophy exercise and power. So for hypertrophy, you need weight which you can pull uh -huh. or push. Right. Uh, six. Eight to maximum twelve reps. Okay. But after so, this last rep, that you are dead. Right. So six to eight to twelve. That's the muscle gaining. That's the rep. muscle gaining. That's hypertrophy. Okay. So less than this, one to let's say maximum six, mm -hmm. but sometimes four. It's for this roll over. So right. this is the method which our power lifters are using. But of course, they are not uh, interested at all about how their body is looking. Definition. Definition is not important, but just how many kilograms they can pull or push. Okay. So it's different type of training, different type of body. Which do you prefer? I would say middle of the road. Middle of the road. Middle of the road. Six reps. Yes. Yes. So that's let's say minimum. Sometimes when I'm testing myself, mm -hmm. then I go to this. Let's say power set is usually uh, last set. Then I try to do one, two reps with, with maximum what what I can do. Okay. Right. So you do go to the max sometimes. Yes. Sometimes I'm, I'm going, especially let's say maybe once per month. I was practicing uh, to make one test. Uh -huh. So I was warming up a little bit, but not with a lot of repetitions. Uh -huh. So let's say with 30% with of my maximum, I do a few reps. Okay. Then I went to 50, 70, and so on. And then just it was just one rep. Okay. Up to one rep, what was my maximum? And do you find that your maximum today is as good as it was a year and a half ago? Is it the same? Is it less? Is it more? Well, I can say I am very close. Okay. I am very close to, to, to maximum. Yes. You look more defined, I find. Or maybe, I don't know, it does vary throughout the year with you sometimes. After summer, you got more definition, I find. After summer, exactly. After summer, you get more definition and practically for the summer, I'm trying to look, let's say, uh, a little bit more attractive. Too. Okay, beach body. Yes, beach body. Okay. <laughs> like that. All right. So now we're in the phase of uh, what is winter time. So bulking, 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 and get enough material. Mm -hmm. uh, get. I have enough material to sculpt. Okay. When spring comes and summer, and this is somehow normal. Right. So because even metabolism works a little bit slower during the winter. We should all be hibernating, basically. Yeah. yeah that, <laughs> okay. was, that was time when, when we were sleeping next door, or better say, next cave, to some bears. I mean, some people could confuse you with the bear, Davron. Yeah. <laughs> you got the size. <laughs> or gorilla, I don't know which one. Well, depends which, which animal people uh, prefer. But I, I received such compliments. Who, who do you think would win in a fight, a bear or a gorilla? Well, uh, if you see polar bear, Okay, that's the biggest bear. And right? Kodiak. Oh, yeah, Kodiak bear is yeah, huge. I, 
I am afraid that the gorilla don't have much chance because it's too big uh -huh. difference in, in complete body mass, you know. Okay, and, yeah, yeah, and true. If you see the claws of, of polar bear, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's impressive. It's something impressive. So sometimes they, they are up to, to 1,000 kilograms. So really, a yeah. ton? Yes. Jesus. Yes. So they are, they are really giants. Okay, yeah, that's powerful. And a gorilla is what, six feet? Seven? Yeah, usually maximum is six. I think the biggest one was 6.3, 6.4. So that's kind of small then, I guess. And yes, but it's, it has, I would say, especially cool power. It's maybe 10 times as, as uh, an average person. All right, so it's probably twice as strong as you then. <laughs> yeah, at least like that. At least like that. Yeah. Okay, cool, Darren. Well, that's crazy. I mean, I didn't yeah. know that about uh, the size of the um, the bears. I mean, I knew yeah. they were big, but the the yeah. claws of a bear and stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of factors: the the teeth, the claws, yes. the weight. Yeah. So so they have up to, up to 1,000 kilogram for sure. Kodiaks, I think. 750, 800 are the biggest, so it's difference between male and female, of course. Huh. But we, they are big, definitely. It would be interesting to see how long the fight lasts. Exactly that. You know? Okay, Davrin, so now what you, I mean, I don't want to get you too cold here yeah. because uh, you just did the Viking press. Yeah. So, I mean, um, what, what are you doing here? Are you going on to the leg yeah. press now? I will, I will do uh, one leg press set now because uh, I'm alternating. Okay. So while the uh, legs are resting, I'm doing Viking press and uh, vice versa. And uh, do you find that your power is less when you do it that way because you're exerting yourself on one exercise and then jumping into the next, or is it as as good performing as you could be? Well, it's still no good performing, but generally, uh, I would say when I'm in full training. Mm -hmm. Then I do strictly separate. Okay. So then I have only legs day or shoulders day, but then uh, I include uh, more exercises. Okay. So more sets and more more exercises just for certain area which is on the menu. Okay. This day. So you target different muscle groups, different angles of the muscle. Exactly, and exactly that. Classic bodybuilding stuff, uh, basically. I would say yes. Classic bodybuilding with, with touch of, of powerlifting maybe. And yeah. So uh, different muscle groups, less reps, higher weights, going for the power, which is going to grow the muscle. Yes. And then you just got to eat a lot to keep that muscle maintained. Yeah. That's, okay. that's you need a lot of calories. Mm -hmm. Absolutely a lot of calories. Good balanced mm -hmm. all the time, and of course rest. Rest okay. is very, very, very important. Sleep, uh, yes. Because if you don't have enough of sleep, your muscles wouldn't grow, and, and body will be exhausted. So, uh -huh. yeah, sleep is something very important, apparently. Absolutely, absolutely very important. Okay. So when we are talking about bears, they know yeah. what to sleep. Yeah, they sleep. Sleep also gorillas. True. Do they sleep as much as bears? Well, but uh, every Different. day, yeah. every day. So they eat and they sleep. Sounds like a good life. Yeah, perfect life. <laughs> okay, Darren. Well, let's see. Let's see what this perfect life can do on the on the leg press. Okay, let's try to do this. So that's uh, that's a lot of weight. Yeah, uh, let's, let's say. Two hundred eighty. Two hundred eighty. Damn. Okay. So let's let's do this.
Whoa. Hey, reps of yeah. 240 kilos. 280. 280. Yeah. That's like two tons of weight of kilos yeah, just I move right there. You had. If you had. Yeah. That's like two humongous bears that you just leg pressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But I, I just noticed uh, what is that that you have on your knee there? Like, what is that? Oh, well, if you believe in fairy tales. Uh huh. I do. You do. <laughs> Well, but when this, I was a kid, more, when but you were a kid. I still have to be. Yeah. But this is not from the category of fairy tale. It's something very real. It's CBD patch. Okay. CBD patch? CBD patch, yes. CBD is um, from the cannabis plant. Yeah, that's exactly. Base is hemp. Hemp. Yes. So, uh, why I have this? Yeah, like, because uh, th this yeah. is the first time I've seen that. So, what made you try this out? Well, this is something relatively new. I don't know how much you know about human body, about systems in the body. But before 25, 30 years, uh, it was... In, in these uh, scientific circles, it was published about the endocannabinoid system in uh -huh. human body. It was a journal from Harvard Medical School. Okay. So I was reading about this. So what we have in our body, that we have receptors which nor we, neither, neither science up up to practically now up to yesterday we, we didn't know much about this or we didn't know anything okay. about this endocannabinoid uh, system uh -huh. so uh, and this patches practically uh, they are helping me, helping me in the way because each of these patches has uh, 20 milligrams of CBD. So uh, I had one kind of, of injury, okay. my knee injury. And that was the main reason why I started to use, to test how it works. Uh -huh. Is it helping me? Is it giving me some benefits? Okay. So how long have you been wearing these for actually? Um, would you say, when, when did you start? I started this... During the pandemic, it seems. Absolutely. Uh, practically, it was end of second wave of this pandemic. Okay. So I had problems with, with me and I say, okay, let's try yeah. with, with that. And what I can say from the first moment, so I'm a person which, as you told, you like maybe fairy tales, yeah. but I don't trust in fairy tales. Uh. So I say, okay, I don't expect anything, uh -huh. but I want to try <laughs> this. What I'm trying, I'm the same with exercise like that. Yeah, uh, yeah with the Viking grip. <laughs> whatever I do before I recommend to somebody, I test on myself many, many, many times. Uh -huh. So I started to use this, and after first time I put this patch on my knee, I had the sensation. Maybe 10-15 minutes after I put this, oh. I laid in the bed, uh -huh. and I felt something is happening, like some uh, pleasant uh -huh. stream is going. Uh, through my knee. So something was happening. Right. I couldn't explain. I don't know what, what it is. But with time, it helped a lot. So it's not only reducing the pain, mm -hmm. it's obviously that it starts healing. Okay. Wow. So because I know it's, it's maybe it was injury uh -huh. for sure. But I'm a realistic person. Okay. Because when you are 70, I mean, your body is not more like body of 20 or 30 years old person. Okay. 
probably some part of the body, especially joints, yeah. if they are under pressure for 50 years, because I'm, I'm in sport more than 50 years, more than 50 years is just bodybuilding and there, there are some other sports before. I was rowing, I was wrestling, I was boxing. So, uh, yeah, you'd be a scary guy to meet in the ring, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, I start to feel not just reducing pain, I, I have benefits. I mean, benefits for complete body. Mm -hmm. It's definitely boosting my immune system. Okay. I don't have more problem with throat. I don't have problem with, with sinus. So this classical winter diseases, yeah, like fever and and, and yeah, I mean, problems, yeah, coughing and coughing uh, and, and runny and nose. And so on. Yeah. I don't know what it is. So this winter, okay, no problem, no problem at all. Yeah, and, and it's freezing. It was snowing today. It's still it, snowing it, outside. Yeah, it was snowing, but I don't care for for, for this. I mean. It's, I, I feel perfect. I can say I'm feeling just not just this primary target, okay. which was uh, this pain, the knee, in, in the knee, yeah. but generally improvement in, in, in body status. Okay, so that's something you would recommend that people try. Well, definitely. Because I got a bit of pain as well, so maybe. Definitely, I can recommend because if it's good for the knee, definitely it's it's good for the elbow, and this is thing I can recommend. Okay. To everybody. And what should I put? One, two patches? Because I see you got a couple of patches on your knee uh, there. Yeah. So it's it's like that. One of these patches practically is releasing uh, this material approximately 24 hours okay that's pretty good that's, yeah, that's uh, long lasting that's pretty good and what is fantastic this is something what you are not using for all because all these products like like oil you never know what kind of oil because it's minimum of CBD mm -hmm. in this oil right which is Advertised like hemp oil. Yeah, yeah. So, what kind of oil is this which carry this material? This I don't know. And True. How it uh, work? How would impact to, to my internal organs? Yeah. This I don't know. But here it goes directly. You put directly on the place, uh -huh. which is in in the pain. Right. And it's slowly circulating through your body. Okay. So I'm using this on, on, on a regular basis. So daily? Yes, I'm I'm using I'm using this daily. Why? I was thinking a little bit about this and about price of that. And what I found, it was for me it was shocking because I am not paying anything for this. I would say this patch is paying me. Why? If you see how much costs one coffee, how much it costs one box of cigarettes. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. And yes, plus how many benefits from this you have and how many damage you have, for example, from cigarettes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I am the winner for sure with this. Okay, I guess if you look at it in the whole global aspect of health, like uh, everything, what you do daily, like if you're, yeah, I used to smoke cigarettes a while ago, right? Like uh, over close to 10, 10 years ago, pretty much now. And uh, back then it was uh, four euros a box and I smoke every day. So, you know, that's 28 euros a week. And maybe at the weekend I'd have an extra packet, so three packets a weekend. And uh, so, yeah, it was 30 euros a, a week. And I loved it, <laughs> yeah, you, yes. but I was killing myself, which is You were silly. killing yourself. And this, for example, for this amount, so I think cigarettes today, they cost much, much more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like double. Yeah, at, at least double. So practically then, then you can say, you can have three or four patches every day mm. if, you, if you need them, if you want them for, for the price of 
one, just one box of, of cigarettes. Yeah, true. Well, when you look at it that way, I guess you're, yeah. you're right. So this is a no-brainer. It's, you, you saw it, you thought, this is good for my health. I'm going to get involved. Yeah. Or at least try it. And the fairy tale, it came true a little it bit. It came practically. The fairy tale came true. You kissed the frog, turned into a, a, a prince. To a prince. Exactly. <laughs> exactly that. Yeah. All right. That, well, I'll give it a try. I mean, um, maybe you can give well, me some patches or tell me where to go well, to get them. definitely I will give you Okay. A few patches. And I'll try them and then uh, we'll try see. Try them and... I'm 100% sure that you shall be very, very satisfied and you shall maybe recommend okay, well, if to, to your family, to, to, to your friends, I don't know, because, uh, but first, as I say, test on yourself yeah. and be, be happy with this. The patch is like pure CBD. This is pure CBD. So it's a good dose it's then. Like, uh, absolutely. And it's certified. Okay. The, so the raw material. Camp. It's produced in Switzerland. Okay. So if if I trust to something, yeah, it's for sure made in Swiss. You trust the Swiss. Trust the Swiss. Okay. If you want a good watch, buy, oh yeah, Rolex. Buy buy Rolex and some yeah. other brands. Oh yeah, the Swiss. Yeah, yeah the Swiss are good at some stuff like watches and banks. Yes. <laughs> and good cheese. And good cheese. True. Yeah. True. And cannabis apparently. So cannabis so, is. So you would. So you, I, I know that you like to try out things on yourself. Yeah. So you tried this out. It seems it seems to be good. And would you say it's as good as the Viking press? Yeah, it is. It's as good. As, so w are you going to try and make another rep happen with the Viking press or? Well, I'm a little bit cold, but for you, <laughs> I shall do this. Show me, show me the magic. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I gotta say, it, Darren, this uh, this pandemic didn't seem to slow you down in your training. Oh no! And uh, pandemic did, did good to me. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. And uh, you found some new uh, something new for your knee. You found something new for the for the gym. You've been finding new things. Absolutely. You've had a lot of time on your hands, then I guess to look at stuff. Well, when you are not too much busy, uh -huh. you are not too busy, then you have time to think, to invent. To discover new things, mm -hmm. you can you can explore. Exactly. Okay, I'm glad to have seen you, Davrin, yeah. and uh, good to see that you're keeping in shape. Well, and maybe we can uh, be, work I'll out be. at some point. I'm for many years here in Center Gym, mm -hmm. Betterbeck, which I really like because it's it's one old-fashioned. Yeah, you you've gym, been here for a while. I enjoy. It. There are some good old machines. Here and the uh, complete atmosphere is perfect. Oh, that's new as well. Yeah, that's that's the new machine. Yeah. What is this? This is for leg press. This is for curls. This is for tractions for back exercises. So, Pull ups and that. Yeah. So okay. it's it's uh, still some good mechanical equipment and well, I think so long as as I'm alive. I shall come here and enjoy this center gym, do my exercises, and have a nice time. Yeah, putting in the work in the in the dungeon in the center gym. Exactly. Because this is pretty much what I always liked about this gym is that um, you know you came down here, it was no nonsense. It was you come, you work out, you it's exactly. good. You know, like people are here to to work out and uh, they're friendly as well. So I mean Absolutely. and. Absolutely. And you guys helped me out quite a bit as well. So. Yeah, we can say we are like one big family, mm. especially this core. So the, the person who, who are for, for many, many years yeah. here, and we are really enjoying. So it's it's place really, I would say, and for general population, yeah. but also for people who want to work hard.
Okay. So they come to the center gym is where they, they come. Yeah, they, they are coming to center gym. Yeah. All right. Great, Davrin. Well, I'll let you get on with your training. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. And uh, don't injure yourself. Well, I, I shall try. And if you do, so, then we know what you can use. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I will maintain myself yeah. with these patches. If injury comes, I will heal myself. Okay. Like the way you know how to. Exactly. And I will feel great. I will feel great after each of my training and, of course, after using this, this miraculous patches. All right. Well, I'll check them out and see what's up. Yep. All right, Davrin. Hi. Right. Nice one. Yeah. And I will never shed my old skin Style goes way back like my own kin So call my style door open It's effortless for me to go in